5.1 function composition. The definition, the composite of two functions of g with f, the way we write it is g, this is a small circle, so this is read g of f of x. It's usually more useful to write and think about this way right here. So this is g of f of x. Now what is composition? This is how it's written. The way functions work, you want to look at the inside out order of operations. You always start the innermost part of the parentheses. So whatever x is, you first f it. So you do whatever the function f is to x. The result of that, you then g that. So it actually goes f first and then g. It's a bit strange because in English we read left to right. And when I say this, I say g of f of x. But you do f first, g second. Looking at functions as maps going from a domain to a range. So f takes some x value and turns it into a y value or an f of x value. So this is what a function f does. We saw this before, domain and range. Now g, what it's going to do is take this f of x as the input and then bring it over here to the output. And this is going to be the range. Now it looks like it should be the range of G, but we have to be a little bit careful because the output, the range of F may not equal the domain of G. There may be things that F outputs that G is not allowed to input. So there's actually going to be another set over here. And this is the domain of G. Now f, the range of f may not equal the domain of g. The domain of g may be bigger than the range of f, so there may be things out here that uh, g could eat, but f won't serve them. So there are, there's a range of f, domain of g. What we're actually going to look at is what's in common or the intersection right there. So this is going to be the intersection of the range of f, the domain of g. Now, if we look precisely, what is the domain of this full composition G of F? We can't feed the function everything in the domain of F. F can only eat what's in the domain, but we have to look out and say, well, what X values would land here and which ones would land over here? The ones that land in this left crescent right here are going to be bad. So the domain of G of F is the domain of F So the domain of f, and if we write in set notation, I would write intersection. But what I'm going to do instead is write except. It's a little easier uh, way to understand this. Except all x such that f of x is not in the domain of G. So it's all X's here such that when you F them, they're not in the domain of G. So for example, I'll call this B right here for a bad value. And this right here would be F of B. So this would be a bad value if when you F'd it, it was not inside the domain of G. So we'd have to throw this one away. So not everything in the domain of F is going to be valid, so we're going to, have to throw a few things away.